iCloud Photo Library is how Apple wants to make all your pictures and videos available on all your devices, iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It takes the Photos app on iOS and the brand new Photos app on OS X, check out our review of that, and anything that you shoot on your iPhone or iPad, anything that you import onto your Mac, will just get taken up into iCloud and stored there for you and then pushed down to all your other devices. So take a video on your iPhone, take a picture on your iPad, those will show up on your Mac. Import some pictures from your DSLR on your Mac, those will show up on your iPhone. So in a way it gives you backup. It takes all the really important moments, all the memories that you treasure and make sure that there's a copy that is safe on Apple's servers. More than that, if you wanted to, it can optimize your storage. And what that means, it uses a concept called Nearline, which means that it just keeps everything online on the server, but all of your favorites, all of your frequently accessed photos, and all your recent photos and videos are cached on your local device. So you can access them quickly. They're what you want to get to most. All the stuff that's older, the stuff that you didn't favorite, the stuff that you seldom if ever access, that's kept up on Apple's cloud server. So if you have a small iPhone, you know, 16 gigabytes or a 32 gigabyte iPad or a MacBook Air with a small SSD drive, you don't have to fill it up with your photos, but you still have access to them if you're online. It also syncs any edits you make, anything that you change about the color or the lighting or uh, crops or straightens or rotates, all of that gets synced to the cloud and pushed down to other devices. So if you fix it on your iPhone, it gets fixed as well on your iPad. If you change your mind and revert it, it gets reverted on your Mac. All of that just gets taken care of. Now, it is expensive. Apple isn't showing any ads. Apple isn't using your stuff as ads. And Apple isn't mining your data. So you're basically paying full price for the storage. And that's different than what a company like Google might do. But if you value your privacy and you don't mind paying for the service, it really does deliver on the promise of all of your pictures and videos on all of your devices.